Is, is, is um, it's a very uh, significant place today because it's the last remaining enclave of pure Tibetan culture. The Network for New Music's 2008-2009 season explores some of the very many fascinating interfaces between music and visual arts. Several years ago, Linda approached me and asked if I'd be interested in a commission. She had this wonderful idea to pair composers with visual artists for the Network for New Music upcoming series. And she paired me with Maureen Durdeck, whose work I was uh, familiar with and, and highly respect. And um, Maureen specializes in the symbolism, the iconography of um, Tibetan and Nepalese culture. And I believe that somehow we decided that we were going to go together uh, to Lomantang in northern Nepal, wanting to um, gather research in the art and the music. So we indeed uh, embarked on a trek to Lomantang on horseback through the Himalayas and uh, came back with the materials for Long Ta. Uh, I went up with a field recorder and recorded two types of music, basically the ceremonial music of the Tibetan Buddhist monks, which is based on um, horns and cymbals and um, drums and bells. I also had the great privilege of recording the music of Tashi Tsering, the royal singer to the king of Lomantang. And he sang songs that told the history of Lomantang and talked about the religion, the culture, the horses, um, the prayers. Um, Maureen came up with this wonderful idea to um, have three paintings, and each painting is associated with a deity. And these three deities work together and can be seen as a unit of three structures in um, the area in which we traveled. These three structures together are called the Riksum Gompo, and they are the three protectors of the villages and um, they have colors associated with them and deities associated. And so she has these three paintings which also involve other types of symbolism. I can have um, and, um, and they'll be hung from the, the, the ceiling like prayer flags. And I thought, what a wonderful structure for music because you can make these into three movements. Each movement then revealing something about the attributes of that deity and the color of that deity and also um, for dance. The three elements, uh, also the three uh, colors, may come into play, will come into play, and in, uh, definitely in the choreography, uh, and possibly in the visual uh, appearance. We, we would, might work with mm -hmm. these scarves. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I brought back scarves from Kathmandu oh. for, the, the, for the dancers to use as yeah. costume or set. One of my favorite moments was an interview that we did with Tenzin Bista, and we asked him to demonstrate the various instruments. And he started with the drill boo, and um, this bell has two parts, um, masculine and feminine, and he explained to us that this bell is like a telephone call to the gods. <laughs> we love that. <laughs> Here they go. Hello. Yeah. <laughs>